post uh, with the will of the greater major majority of uh, Egyptians. I believe he respected the opponent, while the other did, did not uh, act the same way. Yes. Uh, I believe he gained, Field Marshal Sisi, he gained the respect and the approval of more and more Egyptians mm -hmm. and more and more supporters, even outside their country. Yes, Mr. Amr, because uh, in the past week we have seen uh, television interviews for Hamdin Sabahi and Field Marshal Abdel Fattah Sisi. Do you think that this has encouraged the Egyptians to be participating in the elections and voting for a Sisi or voting for Hamdin? I believe, I believe that field marshals do not need mm -hmm. a media show or things like this. He, mm -hmm. he just is the man for the country at this period of time. Yes. We all agree to this, most of us. It's not a matter of president. We mm -hmm. need a leader. Mm -hmm. We need a leader. We need a man who can uh, control the, 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 the events, the, the things that come the, the uh, conf confrontations we are going to face yes. through those uh, coming th few months mm -hmm. on many fronts, western, maybe northern, yes. maybe eastern. Yes, yeah, so moving on again with the presidency, but now with a former president uh, from the World Bulletin, Egypt adjourns Hosni Mubarak's murder trial to May the 12th. An Egyptian court on Saturday adjourned to May the 12th, the trial of former President Hosni Mubarak, his interior minister and six top security officials accused of killing demonstrators during the Egyptian 2011 uprising, a judicial source said. The defendants are charged with inciting the murder of hundreds of anti-regime protesters during the uprising, which ended Mubarak's 30-year rule. Uh, Mr. Amr, as we know that the uh, the trials of Hosni Mubarak are being aired on the Egyptian television. Uh, and we have seen the lawyers of the aides of Habib al-Adli and the lawyers of Habib al-Adli himself and the lawyers of Hosni Mubarak putting forward some evidence that the Brotherhood organization, that the April 6th movement are involved in killing the protesters in Tahrir Square and across Egypt in 2011. I believe in the, what the defense are claiming. I believe in yes. th those claims in a very high way, but mm -hmm. problem is uh, Mr. Ex-President Mubarak is not persecuted for the true crimes he committed yes. against the country. Yes. That's the problem, that's the main issue here. Mm -hmm. The main issue here is corruption, mm -hmm. the main issue here is uh, making uh, some cooperation mm -hmm. with a terrorist group Yes. He made such cooperation with yes. the Brotherhood uh, group, of Especially course. when it comes to the elections, the parliamentary elections. How come it just come out, out, out of the blue right, uh, like this, with all this money and those, uh, this influence mm -hmm. and this uh, party? And thing. national security as well. We have known uh, that uh, a lot of tunnels were being uh, dug in Sinai between Egypt and Gaza, and he just stood still watching the tunnels being dug. He was a part of the crime, mm -hmm. but... He's not uh, being um, treated the same the same way we needed. We uh, we wanted to make or to to feel he's persecuted for. He's an old man. I'm not I'm not so uh, I don't want to be aggressive against the man. But yes. it's not only Mubarak. Mm -hmm. The regime, the whole regime, the total symbols of the regime who are still at large and trying to even. Uh, define the, the, the court law uh, when, the, uh, when the court order came out and, ju and just said no more uh, participating in the uh, coming elections yes. for the ex-national uh, uh, party. Mm -hmm. And still they want to go there for elections. They want to go on with corruption. Mm -hmm. And God knows maybe with their cooperation with the Muslim Brotherhood mm -hmm. as the, the arrangements made all over the, the past um, maybe 15 years exactly yes. I believe we need more trials more cases mm -hmm. against Mubarak's regime not only the man more precise accusations exactly. as well his yes. son his wife his uh, his associates in the uh, eco economical crimes mm -hmm. against this country Mr. Ahmed, do you think that uh, there's a difference between the system or the regime of Hosni Mubarak and the regime of the Brotherhood organization in terms of bravery as we can see because 
Hosni Mubarak did not run away when he was called for trial. But on the other hand, Muhammad Morsi, Muhammad Badia, Safat Hagazi, Muhammad al biltagi they just ran away like mice, if we can say that. Look, um, you, can, you cannot just compare that easy uh, mm -hmm. with uh, even a bad man, or, or, or uh, he was a good man gone bad, yes. like Mubarak. Yes. He was a military man, he was a good man, mm -hmm. and gone bad uh, later. Mm -hmm. And criminals, those are true criminals, yes. who just climbed the, the ladder of authority. That doesn't change that they are criminal, criminals and, ter and terrorists. terrorists yes. You can never just change these facts. Mm -hmm. Just because they uh, got, uh, one of them was a president, that doesn't change that he was an ex-prisoner, an ex-convict. Mm -hmm. They are terrorists. You, cannot, you just cannot compare between this man and this man. This yes. is a man who gone bad, who, who done some mm -hmm. crimes, but this is a terrorist. Mm -hmm. Yes, a big difference. Moving on to another trial and prosecution with the Gulf today saying Egypt Prosecutor General refers 200 activists to trial. Egypt's Prosecutor General on Saturday referred to trial 200 alleged members of the Al-Qaeda inspired Ansar Bayt al-Maqdis accusing them of terrorism for launching deadly attacks against the security forces. The date for the trial has yet to be fixed but of the 200 accused, 100 are in custody and the rest are on the run. They are accused of killing three high-ranking police officials, among them an aide to Interior Minister Muhammad Ibrahim, who himself was targeted by a suicide car bomb in September of last year. They are also facing a trial and accused of belonging to a terrorist group, criminal attacks and terrorism, including deadly bombings targeting the police headquarters in Cairo, Mansoura in the Nile Delta city, and South Sinai. Uh, Mr. Amr, we know that 102 terrorists are in custody as well. Uh, General Prosecutor Hisham Barakat did refer them uh, to trial. Do you think that they will be getting um, the sentence of death? They will be sentenced to death or they will be just going out of prison again, as we can see? Well, I believe though that uh, we need uh, revolution, revolution uh, courts yes. to trial those mm -hmm. terrorists as an exceptional procedure. I believe we, if we give them the chance to have their uh, right to defend themsel themselves according to the uh, ordinary law, they, mi they might just, m m some of them mm -hmm. just might get away with their crimes. I believe not only the crime he committed, a member of Ansar al yes. or whatever, yes. that uh, only that can be uh, he per persecuted for, mm -hmm. only the belonging, only, only he being he, the mm -hmm. membership uh, of this terrorist group, he should be sentenced to death. It's a crime in itself, yes. On a time like this, on a phase like this of our history, we need such court. Mm -hmm. So they deserve to die, the terrorists. Of course, according mm -hmm. to our revolution, revolutional courts, mm -hmm. with revolution, revolution, revolution uh, verdicts yes. against those terrorists. Yes. Okay, moving on to the economic aspect of Egypt from the World Bulletin saying the Egyptian tax hike on wealthy to last for three years. A new 5% surtax on the incomes of the wealthy Egyptians will last for three years. The finance minister said less than three weeks before the country elects a new president. Hany Dibian said that the tax approved by the cabinet last week will be applying to those earning more than 1 million Egyptian pounds annually in 2014, 2015 and 2016. He said the first payment will be due in January of 2015. Those subject to the tax will be given the choice of whether their funds should be going towards public projects, education, health care, agriculture, housing or infrastructure. Uh, Mr. Amr, do you think that this is a good measure by the Egyptian uh, government or the Egyptian cabinet to be balancing things here in the society in Egypt? Mr. Mahlab is doing a wonderful job, mm -hmm. but I believe he's doing a better job outside of the country, mm -hmm. not inside of the country. Mm. He was in Africa yesterday as well. In Africa, and mm -hmm. today I think he's... Uh, in Equatorial Guinea? Guinea? Yes. yes. Uh, but he, he's done a wonderful job there. Mm -hmm. The relationships, the economical relationships uh, of the uh, Arab contractors is a true base yes. to regain our 
greater role in Africa, of course. Mm -hmm. And I will, uh, thank God he maintained his course. He didn't just back off because Mr. Kerry was there. He, he went on and met uh, more presidents, more leaders on, in Africa. Yes. And we need more mm -hmm. and to maintain this course always, mm -hmm. for all times, uh, to protect our inside uh, front yes. and our national security. Mm -hmm. But inside, he's not doing the same good job. Mm -hmm. I believe that he is trying to use the same old uh, regime's policies that led to a revolution. Mm -hmm. he make, he's making the same mistakes, more taxes, um, more cooperation with the, uh, the, uh, the, outsi the outsiders, those who are trying to tie our economy to the IMF and to the, the uh, yes. International Bank and uh, those Masonic mm -hmm. uh, associations mm -hmm. who are trying to, s to, to, uh, to suck our blood mm -hmm. from our veins again mm -hmm. and to keep us running in the uh, circle of um, pain uh, death and um, benefits for them, not for our own. So, Salam, in your opinion, Egypt does not need the IMF loan, the, we don't does need not this. need uh, loans from the World Bank or anything, we just need to be having more reforms on the economic front, do you think exactly. so? Exactly, yes. on the basis. Mm -hmm. I believe the strategy that Field Marshal Sisi, he gave us uh, out on the open, is the strategy we truly need. Mm -hmm. We need to work, each and every Egyptian person yes all over the land according to a plan made upon the, the whole country not only uh, not only around the nile mm -hmm. this is a strategy we need we don't need loans especially from the uh, the uh, the international bank and uh, other associations Yes, going uh, south of Egypt to South Sudan from the independent saying, the UN calls on South Sudan to admit aid workers as hunger looms after the truce. The UN has called for the two sides in South Sudan to allow access to aid agencies and humanitarian groups to help avoid the hunger crisis following the peace deal signed on Friday. The deal between President Salva Kiir and rebel commander Riek Machar, set to come into effect last night, follows months of sectarian fighting which has left thousands dead. It calls a truce and for the formation of a transitional government before elections and a new constitution, but an accord signed in January when he was broken within days. Mr. Amr, how would you see the current situation in South Sudan after cessation from Sudan itself in the past year or so? I believe the, 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 um, the military leadership of this country is trying to cut the damages mm -hmm. as best as, as, it can, yes. as it can. Because I can see now that Sudan is just not divided in two countries, but now mm -hmm. to three. And this is too dangerous because it's uh, reflecting the danger against the southern uh, borders of, of Egypt. Yes. The, um, the, 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 the scheme made for the, this territory is, uh, is pointing Sudan with the division or to, into three States, yes. and that's what's really happening on the ground right now. Mm -hmm. Our role is to contain the danger in Sud the, the main Sudan state, the northern Sudan. Yes, uh, that's an ally to to the S, mm -hmm. and that's a uh, danger uh, danger to our national security. Yes, and to keep more ties with other co uh, countries that's already divided, like uh, with Riyadh Mashar and Salva Kiir. Yes. This is the only way we can c cut the, the dangers, cu cut the, the losses we are facing yes. on the southern, southern uh, borders. borders yes. uh, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, the political analyst, thank you very much for being with us today on The World Today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And this uh, brings us to the end of The World Today for this week. Thank you for watching and goodbye.